give that developing story out of Orange County and former judge and district attorney under investigation for accepting bribes took his own life as the FBI moved in earlier today. At some point during the chaos, an FBI agent opened fire exactly why now under investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Souls live in Campbell Hall with the very latest. Marcus. Well, David and Liz, a senior retirement community here in rural Orange County, an unlikely backdrop for this violent confrontation that took place this morning, but that's exactly what happened as the feds moved in to arrest that former assistant district attorney on bribery charges. Scary. <laughs> Sad and shocking, a violent end to a scandalous case. Stuart Rosenwasser, a former judge and assistant DA, is dead after an armed confrontation with FBI agents who went to his home to arrest him this morning. I was standing by the front door. My friend went outside the front door. They screamed at us to get a, to get in the house, stay in the house, get in the house. Sources say Rosenwasser pointed a gun at an agent who fired a shot. Rosenwasser then barricaded himself and it's believed fatally shot himself. A federal grand jury indicted the 72-year-old on bribery charges, accusing him of launching an investigation in 2022 when he was working in the district attorney's office to help a longtime associate. The man, known as Marty Sudani, accused his nephew of stealing nearly $2 million from him. In a text, Rosenwasser allegedly says, I'm putting maximum effort into this. We will utilize all available assets. Court documents show copies of money orders and checks made out to the lawyer. And in another exchange, Rosenwasser allegedly wrote, I will always protect you and help you. Rosenwasser abruptly resigned earlier this year. In a statement, his former boss said, it's truly heartbreaking that it ended this way. My heartfelt condolences go out to his family. Well, all told, Rosenwasser is accused of taking $63,000 in bribes. The man who allegedly cut those checks also indicted. And we're live in Campbell Hall, Marcus Souls, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. So how about that? You hear the reports there. Stuart Rosenwasser. He was a former judge, district attorney, Orange County, New York. He's in his 70s. Resigned in June. He knew the heat was on him. Corruption investigation opened onto him as, uh, you know, you seen there the receipts. He took $63,000 from a friend of his. Uh, you know, to investigate and prosecute two individuals that either stole from him or his family. And it's like, damn, $63,000 at the end of the day is what did this guy in or loyalty to his uh, friend, breaking the rules, corrupt to help out a, a longtime associate, friend, um, however you want to look at, but at it. But it's just so wild. He wasn't willing to face the music. You know, it makes you wonder if there was a lot more skeletons hidden in this dude's closet as you see other uh, people commenting on this situation. You know, like he did himself in just over that. He wasn't willing to face the music or uh, cooperate with the feds. At the very least, you gotta figure he's been around for a long time. Maybe there was some other corrupt things he saw going on that he could have tried to bargain with and got himself a lesser sentence or something, but he just goes out by offing himself. I don't know. It's kind of wild that also there was this exchange of gunfire with a federal agent. You know, uh, you heard the reports there in other news reports. It made it sound like the, um, you know, uh, exchange of gunfire with a federal agent and the incident in which he offed himself were at separate times that the exchange of gunfire was in the morning and then he offed himself later. But in that report, it sounds more like it happened as they came, that he came out, pointed a gun at a federal agent, some shots were fired, and then he barricaded himself inside and ended it all. It's, it's pretty wild as the feds put out this um, statement here in regards to the shooting. They said the FBI is reviewing an agent involved shooting that occurred earlier this morning in Campbell Hall, New York. The FBI takes all shooting incidents involving our agents seriously in accordance with FBI policy. The shooting incident is under review by the FBI's inspection division as this is an ongoing matter. 
we have no further details to provide. So what do you guys think of that, man? Isn't that just quite the story? Judge, district attorney does some corrupt things, you know, uses his power and influence uh, to, to pocket $63,000 and help someone that he rocked with prosecute someone that did him or his friend or associates, people's wrong, stole from him. And you take a $63,000 payment and then that's it. It's lights out. You're, you're, you're done. You, you can't even face the music. You can't go on. I don't know. You know, are some people just not built for the heat at all? Or does it sound a bit funny style to you? I mean, I don't know. It kind of sounds straightforward in a sense. Uh, just kind of a bizarre story. You know what I mean? Like to, to end it all under those circumstances. I mean, dude's in his 70s. Uh, he already uh, knew that the heat was on. Like we said, he resigned in June. So often uh, police or uh, prosecutors, judges, etc. you know, uh, individuals with some status and um, a job like that, you know, often they get forced to resign or retirement. Maybe that's what happened that he thought by stepping down that would end the situation. But the feds were saying, nah, we still got something for that ass. And he said, I just can't do it. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm um, interested to see what the outcome is of this federal involved shooting as well. You know, with this agent that shot it out with uh, the judge or shot at him. I don't know. It's a bit unclear in the reports exactly what's going on. But the feds are assuring everyone that they're going to get down to brass tacks and figure it all out. And then not to mention the individual that he helped out that he took that $63,000 payment from, um, you know, to prosecute those two individuals, he is under indictment as well. So I don't know, I want to follow this case a little bit and see if it's more than what meets the eye on the surface level, or it's just as simple as it all sounds, man. But there you have some good old fashioned corruption from a judge, former judge slash prosecutor. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Orange County, New York, anyone from out that way locally, hit the comments with your thoughts as well. Subscribe. This is Coffee, where we talk music, news, sports, and more. I'm out of here. Peace.